just a second foul. Uh -oh. He's putting the big man in, Todd, with four fouls. Kirk Heston with four fouls back into the ball game for Perry County, replacing number 33, Michael Clark. And Casey Meek at the line to shoot one on one. First shot is up, it's good. 59 54, five point lead for the Cardinals. Big second shot, nothing but net. Six point lead for the Cardinals, 60 54. Barry County with a basketball. Over for Jones, inside for Grant Rhodes, outside for Gray, his three. No good. And a foul inside. And I believe they're going to whistle it on Perry County. Um, they call it on BJ and he will know why. Give the foul to BJ Sharon. And number 35, 35, Kirk Haston will shoot one on one for Perry County. Haston free throw is up and it's good. 60-55. Aston toes the mark for his second shot. It's up, and it's good. 60-56, four-point lead for the Cardinals. Cardinals working ahead for Luna. Luna, 15-footer off the glass. No good. Sharon with a follow. His shot won't go, and the rebound taken away by Chris Jones. And Jones... It's going to be fouled by B.J. Sharon. B.J. Sharon picking up the foul. It's third. Tom, it's a foul in Perry County to elbow. <laughs> Somebody like this. It's this boy elbow to B.J. and he's going down. Chris Jones to the free throw line for Perry County. He'll shoot one on one. His shot is up and it's good. 60 to 57. Chris Jones will shoot one more for Perry County. It's up and it's good. Inbound pass stolen away by Perry County. And Perry County with a chance to tie it up or take a lead. County with a basketball. Rhodes kicks it back out for Morris. Over for Joe Gray. And a foul called inside on B.J. Sharon. Sharon called for a foul. Tony Eagle coming in to replace B.J. as he's picked up his fourth person. And Kirk Haston will be at the line for Perry County. A chance to tie this thing up if he can make both these free throws. First shot is up and in. 60 to 59. Second shot, no good. And John Hoover coming away with a rebound. Works it ahead for Casey Meek, up ahead for Matt Hoover. Hoover almost loses the handle on it as he regains it. Over to John Hoover. Hoover down low for Casey Meek. And Meek foul by number three, Chris Jones. As Casey Meek taking it strong to the basket, he's hammered by Chris Jones. So Perry County with two players with four fouls. Casey's got the conversion. Casey Meek to the free throw line. He'll shoot two. First one is no good as it rolls around the rim and comes out. He'll have one more. Shot no good. Rebound, Matt Hoover. Hoover. Shot won't go down. And Chris Jones up high for the rebound for Perry County. Hoover with a rebound, but his shot just wouldn't fall. And Perry County comes away with it. 
A chance to take the lead as they trail by one, 60 to 59. Rhodes fall away jumper, no good. Matt Hoover with a rebound. As he works it out for Bubba Hoover, back over to Matt Hoover. Over for Casey Meek, he'll shoot a three. It's up, it's good. Casey Meek from the right wing puts down a three. Ball stolen away by John Luna. Luna taking it all the way, his shot no good. And Joe Gray up with a rebound. Double dribble, no call. Gray shot, won't fall. And Tony Engel coming away with a rebound. Cardinals with a basketball and a four-point lead. John Hoover over for Meek. He'll shoot a three. It's up. It's good. Casey Meek hits one from the left wing. Casey Meek with two tries excellent. Two big baskets by Casey Meek. No and a timeout called by Perry County. 4.58 left to play, Adamsville 66, and Perry County 59. We'll be back after a 60-second break for our sponsor. They trail by seven. As they work it inbounds for Brant Rhodes. Rhodes out top for Jeremy Brown. Brown back over for Rhodes. Perry County backs it out near half court. Rhodes will pull up and shoot a three. It's no good, and Matt Hoover with a rebound. A, re uh, a rebound has changed our way since Hoover and Engel have been back here. Bubba Hoover with a basketball. Back out for Matt Hoover. Hoover over for Chad White. White looking for somebody inside. Clears it back out for John Hoover. And a foul call on number 40, Jeremy Brown. That's five for him. Though. And Jeremy Brown will take a seat as he's fouled out of the basketball game. Into replacing number 14, Nicholas Brown. Chad White will be going the line for uh, Cardinals lead 66-59 as Chad White makes his way to the free throw line to shoot one-on-one. -on -one. Shot is up and it's good. Foul rim, but it found net too. <laughs> 67-59. White second shot, nothing but net. 68-59, a nine point lead for the Cardinals. Barry County with a basketball. Over for Morris, Morris up ahead for Joe Gray. Gray has the ball deflected out of bounds by Chad White. It'll be Barry County basketball side front court. Cardinals are playing a full court press, which takes time off the clock. That's what we need is time off the clock. Perry County finally works it in rounds for Joe Brown. And he walks. Gray then throws the ball away. The referee yes. could not help because that. <laughs> he threw it 10 feet out of bounds. It'll be Cardinal basketball. Matt Hoover working it over to Chad White. White. Across the timeline to John Hoover. Hoover working it in the right corner. Over for Casey Meek. Meek back over for John Hoover. Hoover shoot a 15 footer up and in. Just inside the three point line is John Hoover from the right wing. Barry County with the ball and it's thrown away and stolen by the Cardinals. Casey Meek. We'll run it down for the Cardinals. And Coach, John Hoover works it across the timeline. Coach Martin's wanting time off the clock. He's going to slow it down. Matt Hoover over to John Hoover. He'll shoot a three. In and out, no good. And Kirk Heston up with a rebound. Vikings trying to run with it. Gray off the glass. His shot won't go, but he's going to be fouled. I don't understand that. Coach uh, Martin said to stall the ball. And he'll be well, John had a wide open three and thought he could hit it, and uh, that would have put the nail in the coffin, Ricky, if he had hit that three. But the Cardinals still in good shape as they lead 71-59. And Joe Gray at the free throw line for Perry County to shoot two shots. His first shot is up, he got it. 
70-60, 11 point lead for the Cardinals with 3.09 left in the ball game. Gray's second shot is up and it's good. Hoover up ahead for Tony Engel, almost loses it. Engel double team, kicks it back over for Casey Meek, over for John Hoover. Hoover works it over for Chad White. White back over for Casey Meek. Outside for Matt Hoover. Over for Chad White. Over for John Hoover. Hoover over for Matt Hoover. Back to John. Inside for Engel. Ball stolen away, then re-stolen by Bubba Hoover. And his, his shot blocked. And Perry County comes away with it. Bubba Hoover got hammered. No foul. Perry County with a basketball. Over for Haston, his shot is up and in. Kirk Haston with a 15-foot jumper. Cardinals with a basketball. Long pass up ahead for Hoover. Hoover over for Engel, off the glass, up and in. Give the basket to Tony Engel, give the assist to Matt Hoover as he made a beautiful pass underneath for Engel. Three-pointer by Perry County, it's short. And the rebound taken away by Perry County. Three-pointer by Gray, no good. Tip, no good. And Matt Hoover with another rebound. Clock down to a minute 52. Wide up ahead for John Hoover. Back outside for John Hoover. Over for Engel. Long pass over for White. Back to Hoover. And the Cardinals let the little air out of the ball. Down low for Engel. It's up, it's good. Give the basket to Tony Engel. Give the assist to Casey Meek. I'll tell you what, Rick, Casey's had a good ball game. Especially in the second half. Three-pointer by Gray. It's short. And an air ball as the Cardinal fans letting him know about it. The ball goes back to the Cardinals. 75-63 with a minute 17 left to play, and uh, Ricky, you can warm the bus up. Looks like the Cardinals have come away with uh, a B game win, a pretty good girls game, but we lost that one. It looks like we're going to put one in for I tell you what, Rick, uh, Cardinals showing a lot of depth in this ball game as uh, able to play a lot of players and wearing uh, Perry County down here in the second half. Tom's got to show depth and you can't see no white on your sheet when you're just marking fouls right in there. Chad White will go to the line to shoot one-on-one -on -one for the Cardinals. His shot is up and it's good. And a lot of the Perry County fans making their way towards the doorway. I know there's not any restaurants in town to eat at, so they must be doing that. White second shot, it's up, it's good. 77-63. And Perry County had it down to a one-point lead, and the Cardinals got it back out to a 14-point lead. Tony Eagle still playing out of his tuck, man to man Perry County with a basketball, up ahead for Jones. Jones, 15-footer, too hard. Rebound, Bubba Hoover. As Tony Engel tips it away to Bubba Hoover, and John Hoover gonna be fouled in the backcourt by number 14, Nicholas Brown. We'll walk to the other end where the Cardinals will shoot one-on-one. -on -one. Casey Meek hitting those two try vectors in a row. That turned the game around, Rick. John Hoover free throw. He's up. He got it. I want to say hi to Joe Cannon, who worked for the Courier, making his way back towards Savannah. Does a great job of covering sports in Hardin and McNair counties. Second shot by Bubba Hoover is up and hits good. 79-63 our score. Clock under a minute. And a foul called against John Hoover. And John just kind of laughing about that one. How about that, boys? He's been part of 30 <laughs> seconds at least. Well, he's been, uh, he's caused two turnovers, one charging foul, so I guess that one had to go in the other way. 
He's played good defense. He's got some fun. Number 30.